But how long does COVID-19 last on those surfaces? Ariel Placencia joins us now. Ariel, you've been looking into this today. And really, is there an easy answer to that question? Izzy, I wouldn't say easy. I'd say the answer is a bit layered because it depends what those surfaces are made out of. And the reason why we're talking about this is because the CDC recently posted information on their website about COVID-19 and how it's possibly spread through surfaces. Now, long story short, the wording that the CDC used, it confused some people. So they came out and clarified. And here's the biggest takeaway that I want to share with everybody. The CDC says that it may be possible that a person can get COVID-19 by touching a surface that has the virus on it and then by touching your mouth, your nose or your eyes. So knowing that now a lot of people are wondering, OK, well, how long does the coronavirus last on services. And so to answer that question this evening, I'm going to reference both of these studies here and I posted them on our website if you want to read more about them. And I just want to point out that this one included scientists from the National Institutes of Health and also the CDC. All right, so what do they say? Well, when it comes to cardboard, so that's like your Amazon packages, right? The studies say that the virus can be on there for up to 24 hours. When it comes to wood, they say up to two days. And so think about that. That's maybe the tables at the restaurants or maybe some picnic tables. Moving along to stainless steel and think about that too. A lot of the bathroom stalls in public restrooms that's made of stainless steel, maybe some of the handlebars on public transportation. Those studies say the virus can be on there for two to three days and it's a similar story for plastic. And so that's like the cart handles on your shopping carts at the grocery store, the plastic bags. And then finally glass, the studies touch on that it can be up to four days on there. Now, I also know that a lot of you have been wondering about fresh produce, and that's a great question, too. Well, the CDC and the FDA both said that as of right now, there's no evidence that it can be transmitted through food. But of course, health experts say just to be on the safe side, great idea to wash your produce under running water and don't use any soap.